Hi, today I'm going to show you how I designed the cover for my latest book, the Romanian edition for Mirabella and the Empire of Trees. A few mentions. When I filmed the video of the actual design, doing the actual design, I was quite tired. So excuse my mistakes. I do realize them as I go along, but um, I wanted to keep the, the, the clips um, as detailed as possible. I know some of you may know how to do some of the things I do on the video, but I wanted to make this video for everyone and especially for those who are very new to designing their own covers, who maybe have no idea how to design a cover, let alone a, hard, a hardback cover. So for those of you who do know how to do these things, you can always skip um, through the clip and get maybe to the bits you don't know how to do. One thing I would mention, uh, which I realized towards the end of the design, um, oh, I want to mention at the beginning for you, use the grid lines from early, early uh, as soon as you start your design, because it will help you <laughs> do it even quicker. I. As I said, I was quite tired and I didn't realize that until later on. But anyway, that being said, I would like to show you how my final book looks like and how my proof, which came first, obviously, looked like. I want to show you the final design first. So this is Mirabella și Imperiul Copacilor. Mirabela in the Empire of Trees. Okay, the spine. As you can see, it has the ISBN here. And why I mention this, you'll see in a couple of moments. So. This is how hard it is. I'm really pleased with how this looks. The quality of the book is really good. But I'll talk about this in future videos. This is just about the cover because this video is going to be very long anyway. So that's the final book. And I'll show you how the first proof came and what I had to change. And I want you to be careful about when you design your own cover. So. I'll first show you the back, and I'll, the back is as it should be, but this doesn't have an ISBN, and I'll tell you in a moment, it has a 2D code, and I'll tell you in a moment why that is so. First with the cover, the cover is almost as identical, well, not identical obviously, but it's quite similar obviously. The only thing with the cover for the proof is that you can tell there is a little bit of a green line on top and obviously I, I had to change some of the text to adjust it so so it fits better in the design so this is the final cover and this is the, the proof okay so as you were able to see the line here it's not a massive issue but obviously it's not something I wanted on the cover and why that happened you'll see later um, in the design when I when I design it in Canva that there is like the grid lines and this image doesn't go much above those lines on top and bottom I mean on the bottom it goes because it came out okay but on top it was just a little bit so what I would advise you to do if you have just an image like this you don't have an image on the back because if you have a full cover it's easier to not do that mistake but if you have just a front image make sure you go with it over the grid lines because otherwise you risk having some of the the uh, image that has is meant to go on the back might show up on the front because with printers it's never a hundred percent exact so they might make a mistake so it's best to leave some room for error 
so yeah to show the interior as well um, but yeah I mean and the thing I mentioned why you have the ice bin on this one on the final copy that will be for sale and why you don't have an ISBN here you have a 2D code is because this is a personalized copy I printed these books with Ingram Spark and with them you can do personalized copies and I'll show you the, what that means so you have the classical white page with any copy but with the personalized copies you have let me show you you have you can personalize you can add a personalized message i said merry christmas from from best wishes krina for example i just wanted to see how it will come out and yeah that's the page with the message that you can get printed and then it's the regular book the interior came out exactly the same but yeah that's why there's a difference um, what else that's that's basically it just be as careful as possible make sure you're a hundred percent happy with the design once you upload it on their website because if you make a mistake and you have to re-upload the, the design you will be charged with Ingram so it's not, it's not free for each file including the cover and the interior file so it's not just one um, charge just for both of them it's two separate ones so it's quite expensive if you don't know um, if you don't get it right from the start luckily I was able to use some free codes um, so yeah I, I this time I didn't have to pay anything and I'll make sure I'll be even uh, careful in the future with my future designs so I hope this video is helpful for you uh, as I mentioned I'm very <laughs> very happy with the quality of the book and yeah I hope the following clips will help you design your own your own book first of all in order to design a hardback cover for Ingram Spark, we need to know the right size of our cover. To find out that, we have to go to Cover Template Generator on Ingram Spark and put in the details of our book. As you can see, we're here on Ingram Spark on Cover Template Generator. And we just have to follow the instructions on this page because I've already put in the details of my book. I've made an account with Ingram Spark and all that, and then put in the details of my book. Once I uh, fell in the first field, which is asking for the ISBN, it will automatically add in the details of my book. If you don't have an account and the book title details added, you will have to do this step by step, each uh, empty column. So as you can see, I'm just going to check to make sure all is well and at the same time explain you. I have the trim size 8 by 8 inches. I have interior color and paper color and premium color because my book is a kids picture book and I want the best quality. The binding type I want the hardback case laminate. Laminate type uh, matte because I think it will give it a nicer finish but many people choose gloss as well. Page count my book has 52 pages and it has to be multiple of two as you can see on the screen. Then you have to request the file type you want it to be generated and because I'm going to work with Canva I'm going to select PDF then you have to put in your email address confirm it and you can add the optional information such as price in currency for me it will be pounds because I'm currently in the UK but I choose not to do that for the book and I would advise against doing that because 
I don't think it's aesthetically pleasing having the price on the book. First of all, because the price might change. Um, and, and second of all, although for me that would be first of all, I don't like seeing the price. I don't think it looks nice having the price. A book is about storytelling, it's not about price, about money and all that. Okay, once you have all that, all those details, check them, make sure you've completed all this correctly. And once you have that, you go to submit. Obviously, because I haven't put in an email address, it would it just ask me to do it. But once you press submit, you will receive a message which says um, that you will uh, that the, the right file, the exported file, the generated file will be in your email inbox in a couple of moments or minutes. Depends how busy the server is, I, I suppose. I've already done this. So this is the file generated that I received from Ingram. And because I'll be working in Canva, I need to have a JPEG. And to find out the right size of the file, I'm just gonna maximize this to 100%. And in the bottom left corner, you'll see here document size, 22 inches by, with 14 inches or 356 with 559 millimeters. So we need this 22 by 14. That's a length, a width and height. Okay, 22 by 14. So how do we transform the PDF onto a JPEG. Some people might not know this, but you can do it using Adobe PDF, I think the pro version, but you can also do it for free. Uh, I used free, well, I use this website. So you just go here, you'll choose your PDF file. As you can see, it's this one. You open it and then it will automatically let me show you actually. So you do this, you go to open, and it's once we have the right JPEG generated, we go to Canva and we have to create a design. So we press create a design and we have to do a custom size. If you remember earlier, I said my document had to be 22 see i made a mistake so we first have to make sure what we select if it's inches pixels millimeters or centimeters i wanted them to be inches so i need to have 22 inches in width and 14 inches in height once we have the right dimensions selected Checking again, we selected the right thing, inches or millimeters or whatever you like. We select create new design. And now we have generated this blank page we can design on. This is the actual file we have to upload onto Ingram, but obviously it needs to have the book design, the book cover design on it. In order to do that, we go to uploads. I've already uploaded my JPEG, but I'll show you just in case you don't know how to do it. So you go to the folder, you have your files and you select the file you need, open it and it will open it again. And once this fills up, it means your file is full and it has uploaded, it means it uploaded onto Canva. We drag and drop into the document and you see it would fill in the whole 
document but because we want to make sure it's the right size and we haven't made a mistake during setup or when we generated the jpeg we just drop it in now that we've added the image i'll explain you briefly what the blue and the pink area means for ingram so basically the pink area represents the area in which all the necessary and the most important information ha for your cover has to be placed and the blue area is where um, the, the book cover will be folded and glued onto the back cover um, the blue in the middle here obviously is the section of the book which will be pended when you open it and flip through it so obviously this won't be glued like they will be glued to the book but you will see them on the book <laughs> more like it will be more in your on the outside rather than, than on the inside here in the middle you'll have the spine and yeah you can read all the information is much more clearer that way okay so next we will need to add the main image which for me is this one but first let me zoom in because this is a bit small for for my eyes <laughs> and we'll go to 50 percent so we have a better view of what our actual cover is going to be like so i've up already uploaded the images that i need because i've designed the the covers for my for the english version and for what should have been the paperback version um the purple paperback edition in romanian okay so we drag and drop into the main pink area okay You have to fiddle with it a bit until it's until it's where it should be <laughs> to say so. Okay, so now that we have the, the text from the blurb added in, I'm gonna change it a bit obviously, but for now as long as we have the text that's fine. Um, I'm gonna add another text in the paperback cover I don't have a spine but I think I'm gonna have sp a spine on this uh, text on the spine obviously for the hardback edition so I'm going to add text so, and here I'm going to write Mirabella letters and the empire of trees um let me remember so we had gagalin 110 okay gagalin Colin 110. I'm not gonna need 110, that was for the title. For the spine, I'm gonna need 16. Hopefully, it will be enough because my book is a large print, so I want to make sure it's to take this minimum 16. So now I'm gonna rotate this, okay. Nine. 90 degrees <laughs> why is so i'm not using a proper mouse i'm using a pad on my laptop so that's a bit difficult that's okay we can manage okay 
So again, this has to be yellow. I can't remember what shade of yellow I had. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna look for the right color. I'm gonna copy and get the right color that I want. And I'm gonna do it here. So I'm gonna paste it in. It's gonna find the color for me. And it's just gonna automatically change it. Obviously, I need a different background here. It's gonna be a blue greenish background, it's kind of like this. I'm probably gonna change the spacing. So I'm just gonna do the spacing, maybe 148. Let's leave it like this for now. Oh no, actually, let's go back. Let's leave it like this. I'm gonna add another subheading after I find out what. So I used League Spartan 16. Um, yeah, I'll use that subheading. Um, Krista. Krista Harper. Name from the author and the illustrator. Need a space in between, it's gonna be like a dot dot or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll see. Again, it needs to be Lick Spartan. Uh, Lick Spartan. Size, mm, I forgot, size was it, 16, well, yeah, they're all gonna be size 16 for now anyway. Okay, Harper, okay. Again, rotate, 90 degrees, and we bring it in here. Once you're happy with the placement, it will stay there. Um, I think I'm gonna, I might put the name of the author here and the illustrator here. We'll see, because I haven't pre haven't had the spine pre-designed, so I'm just gonna fiddle with it. Okay, I'm gonna add in the color I want for the trees. The trees, the word kopach, <laughs> which means trees and that on the paperback was like a light green like a mint color or well not quite like a mint color that's yeah it looks much more like lime but not really anyway doesn't matter okay and then that's yellow i think it was this one mm, yeah that's the pink one uh, the yellow one. This will have the pink. Um, what was it? Yellow, green, and pink. So pink, pink, pink. Oh, no, that's green. The right one okay um what we need to do next is add the text the title and the author name so gagalin 58 gagalin 110 let's just add this for now click spartan 16 16 leaks part on go 
Desculpem. Paste. Okay, that's the right size. I need to kind of place this here. Yeah. There for now, just need to change the colors, yellow, white, yellow, white and pink, um, pink, okay, I need to change the Facing one point four, one four. Okay, it's the same. Just checking. So now we need a uh, gagalin one ten, and well, 10. so let's go to text at heading. Bagalin Bagalin One ten One ten That's not the right size. Needs to be more spacing, I guess. Thirty to one. Okay. Thirty to one. Let's just make it yellow first. It gives more personality. <laughs> um, sizing thirty. Wait, oops. So it was. Mm, Thirty one to one. Was it thirty one? Thirty to one. Thirty to one line height. Okay. So we need it to be under that's not right. Why is that not right? One ten. Hmm. Oh, I need to maximize it. So just put the A as if it's touched by the dot. So, copy. Oh. 
we have to remember that this bit here is probably gonna get slightly warped bend it whatever you want to call it so i'm just gonna move it a bit here there's nothing i can do about the image hopefully it will look fine slightly bend it but just move let's just move the text box a bit more towards the cat not too much maybe a tiny bit It's okay now. Leave it like that for now. Oh my god, no. Okay, it's fine. So this was 36 in the size. 9514 36 gagalin. Okay, so we need another heading. Let's add this paste. Delete this. Gagalin uh, 36. 36. Oops. Put it underneath here. I think it's quite central. Um, put it nine. This one was. Oh my god. I've been using the English. I'm so tired I've not noticed that I'm using the. Okay. So this was 36. 95 and 1.4 Okay, so now 95 1.4 95 Maybe 94 1.4 Was it 9.4? Okay Yep, 95 Okay Okay, let's center it. Okay, that's good. Let's try again. Maybe I can go to ah, 94 is okay. Let's leave it like that. Very good patch. Oh, it's missing an A. Oh my god, Mirbella. That's why it wasn't fitting properly. Okay, so. Closer to the cat. Let's go a bit closer. Perfect. Mm. Okay, let's see. Is that in the right? Where is the line? So the line is here. It's gonna. Okay, so I need to move this a tiny bit here. Just so it doesn't work my my name. Well, not my name, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to fiddle with the space here until I'm happy. Now let's add the heading for the text for the the heading 
the title for the other name Karina Daniela Krista this has to be gaggling I'm not sure what size I'll check 58 okay to my space okay There's no space in between those. 75 to 11. Okay, let's see. 75. 76 to 11. 11? No, that won't be right. 11. 1, obviously. I am tired. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. Just wanna make sure I'm so this is not far enough. So I'm gonna move this a bit there. And that should be fine so it doesn't show on the main on the front cover, but it's still okay for for the spine. I'm not bothered too much if this is not completely centered. Um, I mean, it would be very nice if it's 100% centered, but sometimes with mm, printing, it might not be 100% exact anyway. Although, I do expect really good quality from Ingram Spark, so we'll see. Um, but my, my main concern for now is the front, to make the front cover look right okay so i think you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do this i'm gonna go back to 50 percent or you know what i'm gonna make this image slightly bigger Just a tiny bit bigger. Obviously, I need to move. Move the cat a bit. Not the cat, the title. Okay. to be a bit more high more high kind of like here I think that's that would be nice yeah mm, I might have to make this slightly smaller maybe I'll just move it a bit yeah I think I'm gonna do that just so it's not covered uh, wait, what's going on? Okay. Too much? It's okay. I need to add a dot here. Mm. Okay, so a dot. 
elements elements How about the yellow one? Why not? Hmm. That's no, I don't know. Hmm. I'll add this for now, maybe. No, not yellow, actually. Yellow. It's free, but. Leave this for now. Oh my god, why is it so big? Mm. Okay, so don't think I'm gonna like that. Always try it. No, I don't like it. Okay, I'm just gonna use maybe I'll put this one if this to this one. Okay. I'm not sure if I like it, but we'll see. Needs to be much smaller first. Okay, this is the cover for now. Hi, so last night or earlier for you, I was a little bit tired and I made several mistakes while designing my book cover. I didn't even notice that I copied and pasted the English text for the spine instead of the Romanian because this is the cover for my Romanian edition but anyway I've done the changes now and I uh, sorted it out accordingly to how I would like my book to look like and I just wanted to share a few more tips in order to get the guidelines from the Ingram Spark PDF right the one that you have to upload on their website it helps to have these uh, lines to orientate yourself to make sure you have it exactly as you wish. In order to do that, I'll show you. So now we don't have them, right? And how do you add them? You simply go to File, Show Rulers, and Show Guides. So Show Rulers especially show guides and the way these don't automatically show up you just have to make them appear basically you see this arrow kind of um, black arrow so you have to pull down if you want horizontal guidelines and you have to pull from the sides for vertical guidelines basically you just have to go in all the right places that you know the book will get folded or or um, cut at the printers as you can see i have already done mine 
this is the spine and the best way to make sure you have it right you have the guidelines pulled right check the corners at least that's what i've done obviously here is over the edge but that shouldn't be a problem hopefully as long as we have the most important bits as we like them see here is the cover image is a bit extended so it will be folded on the inside but i choose to do that because i'd rather have that on the inside than have blue on the main cover like this uh, greenish blue color so just checking the corners so you see the gray areas and the blue lines which are the guides so here again they folded folded again that's okay once you you make sure that's as you want them and the spine is centered go back here on the corner right and look at it from afar from like 50 percent or however is best for your eyes so this is here these are the 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 main how the cover should look on the outside and i think i might move the title a tiny bit on the spine um yeah maybe just a tiny bit once you're happy with how your cover looks um by the way i checked again because there were some pink lines around the isbn so i just checked zoomed in as well and i just checked to make sure there's no pink lines but at the same time you're not cutting anything important okay so once you're happy with your design you go to download and for ingram spark you have to as with any other printer the best quality is pdf print so you choose pdf print go to download and it will generate the file you need to upload to ingram and show it here Let's just copy it in the right file I'm gonna do it again. So let's see how it looks. So this is how our file looks at 39%. Let's go to 100. So it should be okay. I'm just gonna go and upload it to Ingram Spark and if you're watching this video I guess you've already seen how the book turned out and yeah I hope you found something useful in this video I hope it helped you make your own book and good luck with your book